always say that you're the voice of New York. You know that. Continue to be. And you're right. You're absolutely right. You should be on. And, and WABC is a fine station. I have nothing wrong to say about it. But they're remiss in not allowing you to have a more prom time, let me say. Not that this is bad. Nine o'clock on, on a Sunday oh, night is wonderful. You probably have a wonderful listening audience. But there, more people should be hearing you. Just creamy cheesecake, choo choo, buy a trite, it's heavenly. Makes your mouth happy. It's delicious. <laughs> Even frozen. Invite an Eskimo. <laughs> it's the number one rated uh, show in New York City uh, with an 11 share of audience. What wow. happened? What happened to my, my buddy Joey? Who, you know, Stop playing he, music. He couldn't. Uh, if, you, if you put the records aside, you'll have the numbers again. Yes. <laughs> Forget Joey Reynolds. They've got nothing on you. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things going on here that uh, we would call eye candy, and there's a lot of things that really happen every day, but nighttime's another story. When does this thing end? Why are you all supposed to be sleeping? I think you're a part-time zombie. When I, when I decided to come back on radio again, I visited Scott Shannon, and he gave me a shot on Z100 in New York. Uh -huh. And whetted my appetite again, I wind up going on the air on a station opposite him. And Scott and I have had this little running battle for a while, you know, uh -huh. where we live in the same town, but we don't speak. Let's go to the phone to see if anyone remembers Joey Reynolds. How about Detroit? Would you go to Detroit? No, I got off the plane there, and it says Detroit Terminal, and I believe it. Would you buy a car from a guy who wears a shirt like this? You can't be taking pictures. This is our camera stuff. We're going to do a show from a place where nobody speaks English. <laughs> oh, good. I'm on camera. Stop calling me. Where are you from? I'm from Italy. Yeah, I can't, I can't talk on TV. I can't talk on TV either. Not so somebody pays for it. Uh, well, I think you're going to be the cutting edge like you always are. Would you like to go on the David Letterman show? I don't think that I'd want to boost his ratings. I do want him to sell my book, though, so I hope he keeps it up. So uh, she's going to be on uh, Good Morning America. She was on the World News. She was on the Nightline. Tomorrow night, she's going to be on Good Morning America again. <laughs> Fri give her her own damn show. Yeah, really? Look, look at this. <laughs> she's done every show. Friday night, she's going to be on 2020. What well, is but, she well? But, yeah, but she won't come on our she's show. She's doing Joey Reynolds all night, the radio thing? <laughs> She could do a lot worse, my friend, than doing the Joey Reynolds program. Ladies and gentlemen, here's tonight's top ten. There's a lady sitting next to me, mm -hmm. and I suppose everybody knows who you are. But they know who I am. That's what it is. I'm Joey Reynolds, folks. Uh, Oprah, I had, uh, I, I was on your show last year. Yeah, I remember. And you and I never talked about something really important because we were talking about shock radio or some one of those yeah. great subjects, you know. And I lost about 150 pounds. Hey, Jay Sorensen, who are Joey's guests tonight? Thanks, Shotgun Tom Kelly. Joey's got actor, singer, Danny Aiello. And we are going to be back on TV again. Danny left us uh, in Times Square at the NASDAQ. I ran into him. He was hanging around with Spider-Man. I haven't worked since. <laughs> <laughs> so does that been the show? I don't know, Joey. There's an exceptional talent. No, There's an exceptional no talent. No question about it. And Martin Short is an exceptional talent. Absolutely. <laughs>
That is unbelievable. I mean, he's really, these are talented people. Yes, yes. And yet they got all these yuses because they know Lorne Michaels. <laughs> Joe, let me say that you're the voice of New York, but that more people should be hearing you. You know, they don't like older people. But you look kind of good to me. You look like you're the Hollywood, you, you have some sort of a Hollywood look on your face. Yeah, are you tan? He's got a tan. That's yeah. not makeup, no. is no, it? I go to no, Florida every look week. Look at you. You look like you're 35 <laughs> years old, for God's sake. Well, you know what I do? I have a picture of Dick Clark <laughs> in the <laughs> attic. <laughs> Everybody listens to you. Well, he said you're on at, at, at an odd hour. I said, well, you should talk. You're doing two to five. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Clement, what a guy, what a guy. Joey Reynolds, what a guy, what a guy. Don't believe him, don't believe him. Don't believe him. <laughs> 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 Live from Hollywood, it's the late Joey Reynolds Show. Jay Sorensen, who are Joey's guests tonight? Thanks, Shotgun Tom. Joey's got syndicated radio personality and daughter of the legendary Casey Kasem, Carrie Kasem. Another radio and TV legend and Hollyweed Walk of Famer, Shotgun Tom Kelly. Hi, Tom. Hi, oh, baby. One of the adventures of the alternative music radio format, Freddie Snakeskin. Game show announcer, Randy West. Media brand expert, Michael Levine. Model and singer, Christina Fulton. Plus number one talent manager, Howard Lapidus. And now... Live from Hollywood, here's Joey! And Shotgun Tom was one of the great jocks of all time. You, you two guys were on the CBS station. That's right. right. Yeah, he was that's on right. this coast. I was on the other coast. And, uh, and he was the ambassador for CBS right now. And that's mm -hmm. why he's over at ABC. <laughs> 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 and now they're going to remake It's a Wonderful Life. They're going to use Donald Trump. You can't mess it's going to be that. in It's a Wonderful Life. That's but so it's stupid. a little different twist because Clarence the Angel asks him to jump. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different deal. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Uh, somebody uh, vandalized the Hollywood sign and called it Hollyweed. What they did <laughs> is they put a little uh, w w cloth uh, yeah. on, on well, they, each they O. They blocked it, so they made yeah. the O's and E. So why don't you introduce her today? You introduce her. Yeah. Go Ladies ahead. and gentlemen, Carrie Kasem, come on! Yeah. Yeah. You guys are too sweet. That was All really right. sweet. Yeah, no, yeah, IKEA KXNT in yeah. Las Vegas. I had a political morning talk show. Uh, well, you know, I was a creative director at Fox, so I worked on Star Wars, and I did marketing. So I had I had a really tough uh, day the other day with the uh, death of Carrie Fisher because I was I was asking her to be on the show. She was scheduled to be here in February. Yeah, Michael Scott Shannon would call Joey Reynolds on the hotline, right? He'd always find her hotline. He'd say, Don't mess up my radio station, Joey. Uh, when I was on KBC one night here, I had to host the Christmas night show. Try getting a guest on Christmas night. Try getting a caller on Christmas night. So yeah, it was just five hours of me. Try getting a caller on KABC here in L.A. <laughs> Why? I gotta... It okay, was I on KABC. <laughs> the program director isn't here, right? We know where he is. Okay, good. Awesome. You're not gay enough to write for the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's probably it. <laughs> We're going to be right back. Joey Reynolds is my name in case you got lost with all these Levines, Levines, and whatever the hell we're all calling ourselves these days. Bunch of Jews. Yes, the late Joey Reynolds show. The late Joey Reynolds Show, Sunday night live from the future of radio and TV Space Center, locked in stage 17, high atop Madison Square Garden in New York City. Big J Sorensen, who are Joey's guests tonight? Thanks, Shotgun Tom Kelly in Los Angeles. Hey, Joey's got pop rock musician, singer, songwriter, and record producer, widely known as the leader of Tommy James and the Shondells, Tommy James, along with guitarist and harmonica player and original member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame 60s blue-eyed soul band, The Rascals, Gene Cornish. Well, so on the show uh, is Tommy James. Tommy James. How you doing? Oh, Thank you. Do you realize, did I hear right, did they have a disclaimer before they brought you on? Yes. yes. They listened to Joey on WKBW. We all did. When I wasn't listening to WBBF. Yeah, that's oh. right. That's the Rochester uh, State. Yes. Lots yeah. of good jocks on BBF. Uh, Nick Nixon yeah. was one of my favorites. All, all good all good. Jerry men. Fogel. And nobody has jobs anymore. They're all, you know, old disc jockeys never die. They just seg away. 
That's what happens. <laughs> all all, they these, just all, all this music is now 80s and 90s. Well, to, Tommy, we you know, Tommy, James, Tom, Tommy was just brought in as uh, the, in the New Jersey Hall of Fame. Yes, what an honor. Because you've been a Jersey really? resident for I have, a yep. long time. And once you're in Jersey, where are you going to go? <laughs> <laughs> I was there when Tommy got inducted, indicted. <laughs> Induced. Well, he's going to be and he's going to be electrocuted if he doesn't get the, gets that book out. What's it? It's uh, me, the mob, and the music. The Tommy James book. No E D. Yeah. Well, it, the it, thing is that uh, that Tommy is going to be disconnected because he thought that everybody who was in this mob is dead. Right. Oh, Guess and, what? Yeah. <laughs> I had a record. I got my money. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I mob, mob, it was about the monopoly of the phone companies. It was called Mob Bell. You got me by the calls. I, I remember that. I, that. All right, so what are you guys going to play? What are you doing? Well, we're going to kind of combine our songs here. Okay. Since I stole it from them anyway. Look over yonder. What do you see? Sun is rising, most definitely. Yeah. It ain't a place I'd rather be instead of proving down a crowded avenue. Maybe tomorrow when he looks down. Getting a good sign Just dragging the line Dragging the line nice. Oh boy, Tom wow. James and uh, Gene and, and Gene Cornish yeah. singing. Yeah. Did uh, you hear Gene sing? He's in there. He went dragging the line. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just great. It's Thank great. you so much Thank for being oh, here we tonight. Are so happy I love you. And, and, and wait, we got even another plug for you guys. Absolutely. The, the uh, show. And uh, the show is the 50th anniversary. Yes. Tommy James is starring in it. Gene Cornish is opening it. Uh, 17 people on stage with me. Wow. wow. We're doing uh, 35 minutes of Rascal songs. Wow. wow. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's going to be cool. And then we're going to be. Uh, Doing a bunch of my songs. Yeah, I don't know. Absolutely. And, it, you know, people are going to be coming out the uh, the whole night. And so it's going to be fun because nobody knows exactly what's going to happen. No. Thank you, guys. Thank so, you. Thank so you. much Thank for coming on. Gene Cornish, Tommy you. James. Wow. It's a pleasure. Great. Thank you Thank very you. much. All right, we'll take a break. Hello, everyone. I'm Flash Phelps. Hey, wait a minute. No, I'm Flash Phelps. Go ahead. You try it again. And uh, I want to tell you something that um, Joey Reynolds is uh, my, my, my dear friend. We're anyway, we're going to the world's smallest barber shop as we speak. We're going to. But Flash Phelps has a picture of the world's largest barber pole. I do. Where is, where is it? Uh, it's in Casey, you got to say Casey, C-A-S-E-Y, Illinois. They just put it in. It's just been only been in the last month. Oh, and right. you can go into downtown. It's right across from the world's largest mousetrap, largest uh, mailbox, the world's largest wooden shoes, next to the world's largest uh, birdcage. So and it's all on the same street. It's all on the I got that <laughs> distinction. I, I'm sometimes known as the world's largest asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it's an attraction. It's on my map, too. I, go I, I want to ask you, Ron Farber, what, what took, you took that stupid hat off you look like Dion no put it back on <laughs> what would be a barbershop quartet song or a barbershop song shave and a haircut oh, yeah. <laughs> two bits cream. I like cream. shaving oh, yeah. cream that's a great shaving song. cream Clean all right now let's go in and meet this guy's name Avi I think he's a oh, little Jewish really oh, right. oh, no, well, his wife Maria oh yeah right think, yeah, Ave right. Maria Ave Maria. <laughs> <laughs> all right we're so gonna go in here I let's say hello all right let's so try this now come on, follow him. Avi this is like this is like a mini shack. That's what it is. Hey, Avi, how are you? Good, good. I'm Joey. You? Avi, you can stop cutting. <laughs> Hi, I sir. I have to I'm work. sorry. Do you don't mind if I interrupt you? Please? Okay. Now, uh, this is probably the smallest barbershop. That's right, right in New York City. Yes, this yes, is Flash yes. Phelps. He's on the 60 Channel. Come on in and say hello. Yeah. And this is this is Jay Sorensen. Who's the smallest guy we know? Yes. <laughs> now, Flash, come on in for a second. Right, tell him a little bit about your travels. Yeah. Come on. Tell oh, me man. I got to tell you, I, I travel all over, and I've been to all 50 states at least four times. So How do you know that this is the smallest? Because the, the stores have only 80 square feet. Is that right? Yes. We have architect that are going to tell you exactly. How, How expensive is this a month? The rent yeah. is not cheap. 
Where, where are you from? Russia in Tel Aviv. Oh, yeah? Do you know Trump? Yes, of course. I know. <laughs> Who doesn't know? He's the president. He's the president of the United States. I thought you might know him from the other place. No, no, no. He's... No. I mean, you try to say about the... No. No, no. There's no politics the here. No, I mean, some See, it's now, defense. It's defense. Life, when I was a kid, we go to the barbershop to get to talk about shootings. I'm Italian. Uh, you know, we would, uh, you put a towel on a guy's face and no, then he's gone. Today, it's by the phone. Well, you got to watch Reels TV. It's all the crimes. That's true. And, but the, and old stars and murders like, uh, you know, Natalie All the Wood, action. All, yeah, all the action. Everybody got killed. Too, the only way you're going to see, for instance, uh, Taylor Swift, the only way you'll see her on, on that Reels channel is when she kills her father. <laughs> Oh. You realize years ago the barbershop is where you went to place a bet? Yes. They took bets on all the horses and sports. That was the place. They always had a payphone. Right. They always had a payphone. Right. Oh, wow. That's true. That's true. And, and now, I, you know, bar, do you have any hair? Me, myself? Yeah. Not too much hair. Oh, oh, challenge, yeah. You know, this is a ridiculous thing. Why would a guy who has no hair be a barber? Because the hair, all the customer take it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a barber's ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so do. I want to tell you that we've had a lot of fun here, and I hope that we didn't terrorize your customer. No, no, here. no. I haven't now, how much is a haircut? Twenty-six bucks. So I'm going to pay for his haircut. Sure, no problem. Because this guy was nice enough to not say a damn thing. <laughs> What's your name? Richard. Richard, I'm paying for your haircut. Thank you, sir. Okay, you're Thank a you. good man, and Avi, you're a good man too. Thank you very much. You want cash? I'll it's pay fine. you in rubles. rubles. <laughs> <laughs> Trump <laughs> money. He is great. Five hundred gigabyte. Yeah. So you got to you got to listen to him. He's on an auction too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, thank you for letting us uh, have this invasion. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. I appreciate all the best and happy holidays. Okay, I'll be. Thank you very much. Bye. Joe, let me say that you're the voice of New York. You know that continue to be, and you're right. You're absolutely right. You should be on, and WABC is a fine station. I have nothing wrong to say about it, but they're remiss in not allowing you to have a more prom time, let me say. Not that this is bad. Nine o'clock on, on a Sunday no, night is wonderful. It's you good. probably have a wonderful listening audience, but there, more people should be hearing you. <laughs> we gotta go, Joey. <laughs> yeah, let a smile be your umbrella, but don't get a mouthful of rain. The last dance for me. From the Nouveau Fat Loss Studios, WPLJ HD3 New York, 77 WABC New York. WABC!